Tippett's uh, will show how World War II influenced the Danish West Coast landscape uh, and the people who lived here. When you come to the west coast of Denmark, you see all those bunkers. It's a landscape of, of bunkers, some places here. But we wanted to tell the story about the people, the human beings of the World War II here at the west coast. As a child, I actually lived over here in an old farmhouse. And um, we children, we were four children, we ran around here and played up and down on the hills. And if you look here, uh, then you can see a small amount, actually, of the whole uh, area we donated. Well, in a way, you can say the museum has been conceived as the antithesis uh, of the bunker. So the bunker is this sort of concrete, hermetic uh, object uh, rejecting the surroundings, uh, whereas the museum is uh, an open and airy and welcoming meeting place in the heart of the dunes. Very, very good experience. I can only, uh, I think we are definitely punching above our wings. That means that in due time, you'll have plenty of people lining up here from uh, most of uh, Northern Europe to, to come and visit and, and get um, enlightened by history and, um, and prehistory. By conceiving the museum not as a building, but as a series of gentle incisions into the landscape, almost like when you um, when you slice uh, across uh, in a hot potato and press, uh, it opens up and reveals the softness inside. That's somehow how the, the museum is conceived. When we saw this the museum, the drawings for the museum, and we heard about it and so on, we thought that would be a good idea to donate this to this museum. That would be in the spirit of my father. The four materials that are actually out here are basically the sand, and the, and the wheat, and then it's concrete and rusting steel. So essentially those are the materials we've built the museum with. We're standing in the original Chiefitz bunker, this huge war machine, which is by a tunnel connected to the new museum. So you can actually walk from the new museum and experience the old original bunker. To stand here now and have my childhood and uh, the bunkers to my left side, that is uh, the thing that have already happened. And then the new part, that is the future. <laughs>